Hey YouTube, it's Donica or Nika or Nika Bunny Sings, Nika Bunny, whatever you want to call- Wait, Nika Bunny Plays. I really gotta remember my own fucking change to my channel. Whatever you want to call me that isn't super annoying. And today we are doing a little bit of a missing no challenge. Because Peach or Sad Pidge on Discord had a great suggestion during a stream and put it in the Discord as well, that we change our passive items every uh, couple of floors. Now, I was going to do that, but I'd have to download the DeRules mod and have my friend help me do it and all that stuff. And I don't have a lot of time. Today was actually my first day of work, which is why I'm very sleepy. It's been a lot of anxiety since I got home. A ton. But I did get through it. It went really well. Everybody there was really sweet. And I'm excited to get back on my feet and actually be able to do this, hopefully. So it went really well. I'm just so tired. And probably because I've been panicking for a couple of hours now. So my body is just exhausted from that. But I'm grateful to say that I have a job and I went there and it was real. And yeah, it's a crazy feeling. And I'm hoping that as time goes on, I can get more comfortable and... My body can adjust and all that good stuff but for now um they had a great idea and it just took me a while to do it since last stream so here we are it isn't exactly the same but my passive items will switch every single floor as well as my stats so it's even a little bit more of a challenge and we're just gonna see how long we can survive i have a feeling it isn't gonna be that long because honestly missing those kind of a bitch but we're gonna try it anyways I hope you guys are doing well. Happy Friday. It's Thursday now as I'm filming, but I hope you guys are enjoying the end of your week. Hopefully you have fun weekend plans. Or you're going to be doing something nice for yourself in the coming days. I hope the rest of your week went well. Um, we should be able to stream on Sunday, I'm thinking, this week. I'm pretty sure that my schedule with work will line up for that. And in the future, hopefully I'll be able to continue to uh, stream on the weekend. But I do think it'll end up being Saturdays that we would stream. Um, so, uh, the time might not always be the same, so keep an eye out in the community as well as for the videos, and I will be sure to be clear with you for when we will be able to stream. All right, let's see. So we got more damage, less tears, less shot speed, less range. The range is horrible, dude. Two fucking range? What am I meant to do with that? That's like dick sucking distance. like. That's crazy, dude. This is so fucking short. I would have to literally... Oh, and I got an item I hate. Fantastic. We have a fur. Our first mix is shit. I mean, the damage is good, but everything else is so ass that I can't even... I can't even ignore the amount of cheeks that this truly is. That's fine. We're gonna see what we can get. The more items we get, the more likely we are to have something... At least one thing roll into something good. And that's kind of my train of thought here. So even if something is kind of a shit item, I only have to deal with it for the floor. So even if I hate something, I'm more than likely going to end up taking it just so that I can have more items to reroll. We're going to just kind of mass item spam. And that's going to be my strategy for this. Just to see how many things we can reroll into something that hopefully isn't shit. Mental health tip of the day is to be open and honest and to communicate in a way that is effective. Meaning like don't hide things or Eden's blessing is fantastic. Don't hide things from people that you care about or even the people that you don't if it's safe obviously to divulge or appropriate to. Give yourself the space and time and energy to tell people the things that are important and make sure that you let people know what they need to hear, not what you think that they want to hear. So just be open and honest in your communication and I promise you that will help you in your day-to-day -day life regardless of whether or not you feel like you need to. It's always going to be the best policy. There's no reason in general not to be unless you're in some sort of danger so i feel like that's gotten me a lot farther in life than people think it has because honestly it, people can trust that what i'm saying they can take at face value now i don't lie and i definitely don't take advantage of that but in situations where i've been in dangerous situations or it's been scary it's actually been pretty imperative that that person trusts what i'm saying and that i'm a reliable narrator so even whenever that doesn't happen, it just increases your ability to make meaningful friendships and relationships. But even when it, you are in danger, it helps you too, because you might be able to talk your way out of a sticky situation if it's safe to do so. So I don't know, man. I feel like that's a really weird take. But as a woman that lives here, I've definitely had to think about those things before. And like, I've had some of those situations arise and it was really helpful to be trusted and to have my word taken at face value because I had been honest with them in the past. I don't know, I know that's kind of a dark twist on that, but that is definitely really, really helpful. Degas will take, or Degas, or whatever. 
Also fantastic for everything to not be the fucking pitch black like it's midnight. I really, really, really hate Curse of the Darkness. Is that what it is? Curse of Darkness? Yeah, I hate that shit. It's so frustrating to me how hard it is to see. It makes me big angry. I do hate the girdlings with a just a stinky little passion, so I had to go ahead and focus. Um, we're gonna take all of these items simply because they can be rerolled. At least I'm pretty sure. Can buddies be rerolled? I actually don't remember what's missing now. I hope so. Because otherwise we're at one fucking heart for no reason. But it does reroll your stats, so the likelihood of me continuing to be at one heart is kind of low. But we're gonna take it anyways because I think it was worth it. I'm gonna be utilizing the planner I bought fucking forever ago. Just because there isn't dates on it, so it'll be nice. I'm gonna start writing down, like, when I work. No. Ludovico technique sucks. We will die. Guys, with one heart and Ludovico technique, you might as well kiss this video goodbye. This is about to be the shortest Friday video you've ever seen. Because this shit seriously sucks Dingledorfs. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with Ludovico Technique. I would be... Oh, a truck. Yeah, they said to chime in to say whatever that was. I would be complete... Oh my god, how many fucking vehicles are there? Shut up! That was like seven vehicles that were all very fucking loud. And I'm trying to fucking kill these guys and they're so annoying. And they move so much. I hate Ludovico Technique. Whoever came up with this item, your mom's a hoe. And yes, that's a reference before you think I'm being mean. It's a vine. If you don't know the vine, you're you're young. Or you're old. I don't know what to tell you. Okay? <laughs> I'm kidding. Slightly. I'm so Diet Doctor fucking pibbed that I have this item. So you know how I said it doesn't matter? I just gotta deal with it for one floor and I'll just get it to reroll? This'll kill me. Yeah, this'll kill me. It's so bad. Like, why would I ever want this? Somebody explain this to me. And I was gonna say something else, and I'm extra diet Dr. Pip because I can't remember what the fuck it was. It's like, get your balls- shut up, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck you. I don't know. I don't know. I'm stressed. I'm stressed out. We're almost done with this floor. If we get through this floor, you actually have to admit I'm the greatest Isaac player of all time. Please don't. That's a blatant lie, but you know what I'm saying. I- this was not easy. SIT STILL! Fuck! Fucking flying around the screen like a dork. This sucks and I hate it. And I keep getting these dumb fucking rooms with the mom hands. Like, we get it. You're an annoying bitch. Okay. Spawns a treasure room. Fine. We're not even gonna- I don't even think we're gonna go that way, but fine. Guys, this- this went from very enjoyable, hee hee, to funny, to- to huh? Huh? Dude, I can't even talk. I- I gotta go to bed. To- yesterday. I'm so tired. Okay, we have one guppy piece. Oh, we have continuum. That's pretty good. We actually have decent damage and tears. So we finally got one floor where it isn't shit. It's actually pretty good build. Let's see if we can keep a good build going. Let's see if we can get lucky and the Isaac gods hate us just like minimally less. Uh, hey Isaac gods, let me know. Am I gonna have to actually fucking throw myself onto a bed of knives? This sucks. I don't want mom's bracelet. Kind of hoping for like a little bit more to come out of me bombing that, but I guess not. I guess I get nothing. Guys, do you guys work on your feet? And if so, what do you do for knee pain? Because I did not... I forgot how much I hated how badly my knees would hurt by the end of the day. Because I have bad knees and they just kill right now. Like, the pain is excruciating. I don't know what I'm going to do because it sucks. I gotta figure out a way to get my knees to chill the fuck out. I'm 26. It's so weird. I can twerk like a bitch, but I can't stand on my fucking feet. It's because I have very, very, very flat feet, and I'm pretty sure I have plantar fasciitis. Golden 8-inch nails! Yeah! Thank you, that's all. I'll be here all night. Um, I'm pretty sure I have that, and so I think it just fuckledorfs my entire legs and back and, like, butt and hips and shit and it sucks and i'm gonna get like decent inserts not like dr shoals but like actually good inserts that'll probably help the situation but until i can do that i need some fucking advice like i'm wearing decent enough sneakers i could go back for the shop but truthfully i feel like i'm gonna take my win and go with it i feel like i'm not gonna get through the rest of this floor for some dumb reason okay we have abaddon oh we have jacob's ladder and proptosis or no, is that proptosis or is that hemo hemolacria? I think it's proptosis. 
We have actually a pretty good fucking build here. We're gonna go to the item room. Hypercoagulation is not even kind of what I want at all. This is actually also a very decent build. Like, guys, can we, can we, can we think for a second? Like, what if this game doesn't fuck me over for the entire run for once? What do we do, actually? That pretty much changed the culture of the channel. Like, we're gonna go from, like, a classic Nika Bunny Sings video to, like, some actual cool shit. That's kind of crazy. I don't really know what to do with myself here. We also would try to steal an item. I mean, maybe we can, but, like, honestly, I did stand in the room for two full minutes before I started filming solely because I was just having a bit of a crisis, which is definitely a giant waste of my time, and I kind of, I do think that'll be what, well, well, uh-huh. I do, oh wait, shit, am I already on the floor? Never mind, I'm just saying shit because it's, it's an XL floor. We might be able to get there. It is an XL floor though, so we also might go the wrong way the entire time for like fucking six minutes and just be completely dinkled door fuckle bitched. And I've just started, I've just started making whimsical, silly, silly, goofy bitch language in these videos at this point. Like I have not expressed myself in a way that anybody under the age of, over, huh? Under the age? Anybody over the age of 45 would probably understand or anybody under the age of like 12. Like I'm at this point, I'm isolating my audience to a very specific age range that probably watched SpongeBob and has any idea of how to decipher what the fuck a Finkeldorf and a Buckle bitch is. And I'm not gonna change, okay? Change is hard. I do a lot of changing for my mental health and I try to change myself to be a better person every day. But I can't change the goofy bitch that I am. I will always be a goofy bitch. I will always be silly. There is no taking the silly out of me. You may take the girl out of the silly, but you cannot take the silly out of the girl. I might not be in a goofy, silly, crazy situation right now, but I'm still going to be a goofy, silly, crazy bitch. You got to expect it at this point. On this channel, if you don't expect silly, you're not expecting the right thing. You can expect some serious moments, but you're going to get silly right before and probably directly after. With no pause, hesitation, or even time to think. It's going to be like whiplash, except for your brain. It's going to be like if you could actually scrub your brain with a sponge and soap, but you can't. That's the closest thing it's going to feel like, honestly. It's just going to feel like you're getting your your the folds of your brain unfolded when you watch these videos. And that's pretty good, honestly. I think sometimes we all need like a deep brain massage. But you can't do that, obviously, because if you open up your skull and massage your brain, you will probably instantaneously die. So you'd like, don't do that. But it's pretty nice to just be able to fucking sit for a second and get your brain rinsed out. I've gone on about this long enough that I actually don't remember what started it. So I'm sorry. I'm going to shut up now. Or I'm not going to shut up because what would be the point of this video? But I am going to play the game and like, I don't know, maybe commentate on the game I'm playing crazy idea in this day and age right when you stay on topic planetarium come in clutch jupiter can suck my dick planetarium come in clutch and it just did the exact opposite like that shit felt on purpose like you and i both know that i don't want jupiter and if i did want jupiter you and i both know i'd be pretty silly now listen it isn't the worst fucking item i could get but it sucks we're gonna take blue cap because tears up and a, and a health up is good and we're going to take this health up because a health up is good. Not that I needed to explain that a health up is good, but I felt like I wanted to explain that a health up is good. It's all about choices, ch chids. That sounds, why does that sound racist? I don't think it is. I just mispronounced the word kids, but it felt offensive. And I'm apologizing now if it is because it is not meant to be. I just am simply, I can't speak. Like I cannot talk. I, if I take cursed eye, I'll shit myself. Actually, I'm going to take cursed eye because it's going to get re-rolled. So who gives a fuck? Because I'll get another item. See what I'm saying? You got to make bad choices to get to the good ones. These all suck on my dick. But again, I'm just going to re-roll. So it really doesn't matter. The fact that I was this fucking close to the boss and didn't get there is outrageous. And just it just makes me want to rewrite the Ten Commandments. Don't ask me what that has to do with anything. Because I truthfully don't know. Oh my god, am I at the fucking corner of the screen again? I think I was, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to be comfy. This is such an expense, expensive, expansive fucking floor that I don't even kind of want to do. All right, so I didn't even pretend to look at what we got. So we do have Arachna's titties. Um, we have a damage up. We have the poopy poop boy, poopy thing, poop, poopity poop. We have tech, not tech X, right? Am I being dumb? I think that's tech X. We have good items. We have a tears up. We have, we have good stuff. We have good, decent health. It isn't too bad. Our stats, our stats actually aren't terrible either, so it isn't bad. I do fucking hate this item in terms of shooting and actually doing damage. I know people are going to think that's super cursed, but 
I just don't like it. I don't like that you only hit at the edges of the circle. It really irritates me. Um, but, you know, whatever. I can't. Beggars cannot be choosers. Not that I'm begging for literally anything, but it can't. I can't choose it. So, um, yeah, it's actually a pretty decent build still. I would definitely take away the Tech X for my own mental peace of mind, but that's fine. I know people love it, honestly. And I don't think it's a terrible item, but I do know. I think it was nerfed, right? And it just, it just is mid. It's mid, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like it could have been done better, and it wasn't in the name of making the game kind of difficult, and you want to take the good items less, and you want to explore more. You can't force it. You know what I mean? People are going to want to take what they want to take. Sometimes that works, but sometimes it just makes your audience angry, and I think this is one of those times where I'm like, oh my god, make this worthwhile again for me, please. But it isn't horrible, honestly. It's just fucking a nuisance to try to kill anything with any speed or quickness if you don't have absolutely insane, insane damage. So I've yet to find the way to get off this floor. And I do hate these floors. In case you guys don't know, they piss me off immensely. Probably a disproportionate amount to what's actually going on. But I hate them. They make me so mad. Fuck. I have just been getting hit left and right, dude. I wish this was an XL floor because I don't want to do another one of these floors. I also love that I got rid of Curse of the Darkness on the last floor. And the game was like, did you want Curse of the Darkness again? It's like, at the very least, no, because be creative at this point. I just got that shit. I don't need it again. Like, they're so fucking weird for that. Let me see, okay? I have a bad... I have very bad eyesight. My brain struggles to process the things that I am taking in as information. So, like, if it could just let me see so that I could maybe do the game, I'm gonna fucking die anyways, so that's great. Tech X will fuck me up almost more than anything else, which is so funny because you would think, like, anything else would fuck me up more than anything else. I got farther than I thought, honestly. I was doing great until for some reason I got hit, like, back to back at the end there. Like, I just fucked myself up for some reason. I actually don't know what happened there, but that's okay. We're here. We're ready to go. Or we're dead, actually, in the game. So, no, we're not. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my lovely members, Asterix Stars, Penny Loafers, Lara, and Bread. I will have a member video out again this week. I just don't know if I'm going to have to front load it on the weekend because of my new job. And I, I'm going to be there again tomorrow and Saturday. So, um, but I will definitely have some more content out for you, lovely folks. I appreciate you guys being patient and I love you for supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel, I do have the memberships. You could click the link below. Things are a little slow and rocky right now because I was in the process of getting the job. I'm starting it and I'm adjusting to it. But if you just want to support the channel, there will be extra videos out, of course. And I'm like having a little bit of a backlog, so I'm catching up. And it's great if you do. But if you don't, like and subscribe, comment, let me know what you thought. And I will see you in the next video. I love you all. It's been Nika. Bye.